Turns out Rutgers' last second loss to Washington State on Saturday was simply a precursor to even more damaging news to come. Standout wide receiver Leontay Carew would be suspended for an alleged incident that he was involved in outside the stadium on Saturday evening after the game. Kyle Flood had this to say on Monday during his weekly press conference about that suspension, his own responsibilities, and the culture he still believes is solid inside his own locker room. The people that know our program, the people that are invested in our program, uh, the people that spend time with our program, uh, they know the high quality of the young men that we have in that locker room. Now, I'm not naive either. I understand that people that aren't as familiar with our program and all they see are the incidents of the last couple of weeks, how they could have that perception. But I think the people that know our program, I don't believe they have that perception. Welcome Ray Lucas back into the fold. Ray, you know this program very well. Call their games on the weekend. About a week ago, you and I spoke about Kyle Flood. You felt like he still had control of the locker room, like this team could still do good things this year. As we stand today, has your opinion on that changed at all? No, not at all. To be honest with you, you know, you would think with the discipline that it takes for these student, for these student athletes to number one, take care of their business on the field. Number one, take care of their business in the weight room. And number three, take care of their business in the class. That discipline would carry over into their lives. And, you know, my father always said sometimes you, well, most of the time you can't fix stupid. And I think it's very unfortunate for the fact that Kyle Flood, you know, has to be uh, how do I say, maybe torn down a little bit by these kids' decisions. And, and I'll be honest with you, you know, five of these kids, six of these kids do not spoil the whole bunch. I'm 100% positive that there's a united front in that locker room. And like I said before, and I'll say it again, adversity reveals the character of every team. You know, and usually you said, and Coach could tell you, it's always the next man up. But, you know, after all these trials and tribulations, it's going to sit. It's going to be really interesting to see how they go against Penn State next week. And especially interesting, Ray, when you consider the recent suspension of Leontay Carew, as we said at the top of the show, now NJ.com reporting that Carew was actually arrested for that alleged incident on Saturday night. He's one of the best players, if not the best player on this team. They clearly saw the difference in the opener without him in the first half to the second half. So how does this affect Rutgers, Ray, not only on the field, but also in the confidence of the players that remain on the active roster? Well, again, you're talking about like an all Big Ten wide receiver. You know, people were arguing is that maybe he's the best receiver in the Big Ten. Now, that being said, you know, the, the choice that Carew made not only affected him, he didn't even think about, you know, the, the 105 kids in that locker room that he has affected. But again, I, I will say this. You know, they have three other wide receivers that can get the job done. Janarian Grant's been absolutely sensational, you know, doing the punt return and kickoff duties. He's just going to have to step up big at the wide receiver position. But again, when you lose guys like the five guys, you know, in the week, almost the majority of them were all defensive backs. And Rutgers struggled last week against Washington State in the secondary. So again, you know, I hope these young men are realizing that they're not just affecting their lives. They're affecting their lives of those brothers inside that locker room. Ray Lucas, Ray, we truly appreciate the time today. Check in with you again next week. I can't wait.